Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Christ. Slava This is October 18th, the 20th Sunday after Pentecost. Today we're celebrating St. Luke the Evangelist as the saint of the day. And I welcome all of you to our liturgy. Let's pray. We are
persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil word against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Wisdom, stand Let the heavens be glad, let the earth rejoice, for the Lord has done a mighty deed with his arm. He trampled death by death, he became the firstborn of the dead. He saved us from the abyss of Hades and granted great mercy to the world. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You rose from the tomb, O compassionate Lord, and led us out from the gates of death. Today Adam exults and Eve rejoices, and the prophets together with the patriarchs unceasingly acclaim the divine might of your power now and forever and ever. Amen. Today the Virgin stands before us in the church and together with the choirs of saints invisibly prays to God for us. Angels are worshiping with the hierarchs. Apostles exult with the prophets for the mother of God prays on our behalf to the eternal God. Glory to our God and holy, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Indeed, you are always concerned, but lack the time. Not that I speak out of need, for I have learned to be self-sufficient in whatever circumstances I find myself. I know how to live humbly, and I know how to live in luxury. I have been schooled in every place and condition, being filled or hungry, having abundance or suffering want. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, you have done well in sharing in my affliction. But Philippians, you yourselves also know that in the first days of the good news, when I left Macedonia, no church went into partnership with me in the matter of giving and receiving, but only you. For even in Thessalonica, you sent me once and twice something for my need. Not that I am eager for the gift, but I am eager for the profit accumulating to your credit. I have everything and enough. I am fully supplied now that I have received from Epaphroditus what you have sent, a sweet odor, an acceptable sacrifice well-pleasing to God. But may my God supply your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory for endless ages. Amen. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brothers and sisters with me here greet you. All the saints greet you. 
especially those of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Alleluia. which I wondered, never mind. So this week I went back to Father Randy's and I was helping him with his computer. And we went there to try and get the thing to work. So we were pushing all kinds of buttons and, and trying to power switches and nothing seemed to get it to work until I noticed that it wasn't plugged in. Well, that's not exactly what happened when I was helping him. His computer worked fine. Um, but that segue is really good to this week because we hear about Jesus raising the son of the widowed mother. She lost her only way to connect with the outside world through, at that time, the male heir of her household. And now she was about to be left totally alone. But Jesus, having pity on her, said, you know, Get up, rise, come to life. And he did. The people were amazed. And even to this very day, we wish we had that kind of power. Well, the reality is, is we do have that kind of power. That kind of power comes from God. But we have to be plugged in in order to be able to do it. God grants each of us the abilities to do miraculous things as well as humble things. He gives us the ability to do all sorts of things in his name. In today's epistle, we had St. Paul, he quoted, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Actually, it's not today's epistle. I actually chose this epistle from tomorrow. This is the reading that we'd normally have tomorrow. But in all things, it's him who strengthens me. I can do anything. We too can do anything with Christ, but we need to be able to plug in, to be connected with him, and to have God's power flow through us. It's not us who get to do miracles. 
It is God who does miracles through us. We are called to go to those who have died and to bring life into that situation. It doesn't mean necessarily every time that the person's going to rise from the dead at our touch. But we do have the power and the ability to bring God in the situation and God will bring forth what needs to happen there. To the sick, to the lonely, we have that ability to do great and wonderful things. To the poor, to the hungry, to those who are afflicted in one way or another. We have great ability, but only when we tap into what comes from God. Now as a parish, there's lots we can do. But first and foremost, we have to know where the power is and plug into it. We have to be able to come before God and let Him flow through us. If we are trying to do things for our own glory, if we are trying to do things separate from what God does, nothing works. Nothing gets moved. We just sit there like a dead computer. So let us make sure that we are being prayerful, that we are communicating with God, that we are in communion with God, that we are working along with Him and not going against His powers and against His flow. And when we do that, then we too can solve the problems of the world. We only need to be in sync and in flow and plugged into our Lord. So, as we pray the rest of this liturgy, let's really try and connect so that he can energize us. Slava Jesusu Christu. Slava Nike. Let us all say with our own soul and our own mind, let us say, Let's do it, Father. All you are, God, your fathers and mothers, we pray to hear us and have mercy. Our spirit, O
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with with your your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Yeah.
patriarchs and the slaughter of the metropolitan learns and our God of the David. For the sake of the Holy Church is granted that they may live in peace, safe, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in these holy gifts. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you now, I place before you my whole life and hope, O loving Master, 
and I ask, pray, and entreat you, make me worthy to partake in a mystical way and with a pure conscience of your awesome and heavenly mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins, for the pardon of our offenses, for communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence before you, and not for judgment or condemnation. I embrace you as you enter and abide in me, and I unite myself completely to you. Permeate my soul and body, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is Petra Lips, repent you from iniquities, and save you from all of your sins. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided Trinity for having saved us. Blessed is our God, now and always and forever and ever. sacraments of baptism, chrismation, and Eucharist. And there's also a number of things going on in and around your, our parish, so please do uh, find out what's going on. I also encourage you to pray for the people around you, especially those who are elderly and shut in, uh, so that they might have the strength to be able to endure this pandemic and to be healthy while doing it. Uh, and to all of you, I wish you all a blessed and beautiful day. Slava Jesusu Christu. Slava Jesusu The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Christ, our true God, who is indeed risen from the dead, through the prayers of
of his Immaculate Mother, of whose patronage we take in this holy church, of our Father among the saints, St. Saint John Chrysostom, who, of Archbishop of Constantinople, who wrote the liturgy that we celebrate, of St. Luke the Evangelist, whose day we celebrate today, and of all the saints who will have mercy in us and save us, for he is good and he loves all of us. Amen. Have a blessed and beautiful day.